BVM, ventilation of an apneic adult patient. So we're gonna start with BSI, scene safety. Level of conscious, hey, hey, are you okay? No response. Immediately checking pulse and breathing for at least five, but no more than 10 seconds. Your uh, preceptor is gonna inform you there is a pulse, about one per second, there's no breathing. Okay, at this point, we're gonna call for additional resources. Can I just get another BLS unit, another hands? All right, we're gonna open the airway. Oh, I see some vomitus and secretion in the mouth, so we're gonna suction the airway. For an adult, no more, than, no more than 15 seconds. For a child, no more than 15 seconds. For an infant, no more than five seconds. So we're not suctioning further than we can see. We're pushing the catheter in, then suctioning on the way out in a circular motion. The or mouth and orifice are now clear. All right, open, clear, maintain. So I'm gonna grab an OP, I'm gonna measure from the corner of the mouth to the corner of the ear lobe. This one looks like the right size. I'm gonna go ahead and open off the mouth, come in from the side, and twist at that 90 degree mark to put in. In my exam, I'm going to inform you right now, the patient does have a gag reflex, so you're going to go ahead and pull this out anatomically. You're going to get ready to section and kind of look and make sure they're not uh, vomiting. But if that is clear, then you're going to go ahead and grab an NP, the nasopharyngeal airway. You're going to measure from the tip of the nose to the ear lobe. This one will work. It also can't be wider than the patient's pinky. So then from there, you're going to lubricate it a little bit, and then you're going to take the bevel, which is that kind of cutout size. The bevel faces the septum. I'm going to go on the right side of the airway. So for this, we're just going to stick this in, and then we're going to push all the way down. If we're going into the left nair, we have to go upside down, that anti-anatomical. Place this in so then that bevel faces the septum. Come in in about an inch and a half until we start to feel that resistance and once we feel it then we can twist around and then push the rest of the way anatomical open clear maintained breathing are they breathing no they're not so i'm gonna grab that bvm and hold that head tilt chin lift we're gonna give this adult one breath every six seconds if it was a child we one breath every two to three seconds infant same thing every two to three seconds for this patient, I'm just gonna keep on breathing for them until it's been about two minutes. At the two minute mark, now it's time to reassess. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I'm gonna feel for that pulse and breathing. I still feel a pulse, about one per second. There is still no breathing. So at this point, I'm now gonna connect into oxygen and then I can go ahead and resume. And that's the skills test.